Hi, in this video, I will show you how to update a SharePoint choice column. This is, this is my SharePoint list. It's called students. So under the settings, I have a column called sports. The type is a choice column and I have three values here. Also, I set this as allow multiple selections. The record I am trying to update here is David Smith. So this is the column. Currently it is blank. We are trying to update uh, cricket, rugby or badminton, either one of two values we are going to update here. Let's go back to Power Automate. Here I'm using a manual trigger. So first I'm going to initialize a variable. Just call it as sports one sport one okay I'm going to call this I'm going to set the value as badminton so here you could have this value coming from another connector so here I'm going to hard code this just for this example okay okay I'm going to copy to my clipboard my clipboard next variable initialize variable 2 sport 2 I'm going to say rugby okay uh, next what we want is we want to put put this in a certain order certain format we want to do this uh, to for the update so I'm going to initialize another array and I'm going to call this as sports okay next I'm going to add a compose So the format it expects for that column is something like this. Two curly brackets, double quotation value, double quotation close, then colon, then map the first one. Okay. So the, that is the first variable I'm mapping. Next step, I'm going to use append array to variable. I'm going to select sports. And under the compose output, that's what I'm going to append that to the array. Now we need to map the second one, which is the rugby one. So doing the same similar exercise. So I'm going to copy this clipboard, new, my clipboard, compose, remove the sport one. And here we are, I'm going to map here sport two actually. Here it is. And next step again, append to array. sports and that is compose to output we want this one okay so now we constructed the format we want for the choice column the next is the SharePoint connector get items is the action I am after the list name uh, I'm looking is the students Next, under the filter query, I am going to set title equals David Space Smith. Here it is. Okay. Next step, I'm going to update. So, update item. That's again the SharePoint connector. Set the address. Set the list name again as same thing as the earlier one, students. Okay, ID. So as you can see, the Power Automate placed and applied to each. The reason for this is uh, the get items connector uh, return, can return more than one items. Okay, next. That's a mandatory field, so we need to map uh, the full name also. Okay, so this is quite important. So for the sports value, um, either I can hard code the values if I know the you know what exact value if I am going to update. But in this case, uh, you know the example I am trying to show here is coming. These values are coming from another connector, so um, so that you can uh, you know append uh, these in a specific format and show it. I'm not really sure why the UI is not showing the values properly. Uh, it's just a refresh issue, nothing else. Okay, so let's go back. So 
remember here we are not trying to hard code it here so what you need to use here is press this sign here switch to input entire array that will allow us to map the variable here which contains the format of the array which uh, which has those two values we constructed earlier so okay test the flow now okay flow ran successfully here it is so against the record we have two record two choice uh, values updated successfully let's go back to power automate again so remember the format we need to use here is the uh, declaring declare an array and append to array with the format of that uh, two curly brackets then value colon then what are the value you are mapping there and also remember under the update uh, click that option the T sign which says switch to input to entire array then only you can map multiple values under that choice column thank you for watching